Hello YouTube and Real.Video. Uh, I just wanted to share a very interesting article i seen. And at the beginning of this video, you seen an email that I sent to McDonald's back in August of 2015 calling them McPoison. And of course, I made a tiny little shortcut to highlight the blog post that I made on my blog site. And basically uh, saying, you guys got to clean up your food. I posted that article back then because I read that they were losing money and might be going bankrupt. And I basically told them the reason that you're losing is because people are waking up to all the bad ingredients in food. Um, somewhere around that time, uh, Aldi, A-L-D-I, the uh, German company, started really rolling out their... Uh, their uh, I think it's called simply simply natural ingredients, which is their organic line, where they removed all the artificial colors, all kinds of artificial preservatives, and other uh, bad ingredients, and getting rid of like aluminum and other stuff out of the, uh, the baked goods and uh, different things, and uh, it's it's pretty good stuff. So I just kind of wanted to read this article. Now the article is actually a national article from the Tribune News Service and but they're using a local McDonald's in uh, Erie, PA where I live. So I just kind of wanted to highlight this a little bit. Fast food chain removes artificial ingredients from most burgers. Those seeking an all-natural burger at McDonald's should remember these three words. Hold the pickle. <laughs> now I found out now. I found out that uh, because of the artificial colors, which is a another tiny URL shortcut I made, uh, tinyurl.com forward slash toxic colors. Uh, this uh, woman, uh, foodbeast.com, she made an infographic going through tons of articles, collating all the bad uh, side effects from artificial colors and made a really 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 nice graphic totally broke down the the chemical uh, uh, makeup from a uh, you know the, the building block standpoint and uh, the going names for them all found out that uh, yellow number five has I thought red 40 had the most side effects but actually yellow number five is the worst so for a while there I was getting pickles from uh, Walmart because the Walmart brand had the uh, garlic that I like but it didn't have the yellow number five or yellow number six and then I don't know after a couple years all of a sudden BAM they switched and started putting the color back in so which is bad because it can cause hyperactivity and violent behavior so but the Chicago based fast food chain announced Wednesday that it has removed artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives from its top selling burgers. The latest announcement in the company's ongoing effort to improve the quality of its food. The pickles, which have artificial preservatives, are the exception. Some menu items will continue to have artificial ingredients, including the signature crafted sandwiches. Now, I'm, they haven't said anything about GMO, so I'm sure the potatoes, their french fries, are probably still a GMO. And that was basically when I got fed up with McDonald's when they announced that and uh, wrote, that, wrote that email. Uh, the latest incremental step in the Golden Arches food journey comes after the company announced in March that it would use fresh beef for its quarter pounders and signature crafted burgers. All other burgers, including the Big Mac, are still made with patties that are in advance and then frozen. McDonald's has also removed artificial preservatives from its McNuggets and plans to use only cage-free eggs by 2025. <laughs> and if anyone has seen uh, Mike Adams' microscope look at their McNuggets, there's like a silicone-type thing material that holds the meat together and some sort of weird fibers. It's either leftover feathers or who knows what it is. Either veins or <laughs> morgellons. Hard to say what those weird things are. Um, these, are the kind, these are the kind of changes that today's consumers are seeking throughout the food industry, said Chris Kempzinski, McDonald's USA president, on a call with reporters Wednesday morning. 
We believe it's improving customer perception of McDonald's. Oh, isn't that kind of interesting that that was the title of my uh, my blog post? Uh, because of its massive size and scale, including some 14,000 U.S. restaurants, McDonald's can effect change through the industry when it makes such decisions, as it did with its cage-free egg announcement. It also, yeah, that's pretty creepy how, how they, uh, what they do for the chicken industry. I think it was uh, Patricia Steer really highlighted that, and I had no idea. And then someone else told me that Kentucky Fried Chicken isn't calling it chicken now because legally they can't call it chicken because it's so genetically modified and like no feathers and no, it's just, it's just it's creepy. Um, it also can make McDonald's a target for competitors and detractors. Wendy's, for example, has repeatedly hammered McDonald's for not using fresh beef in all its burgers. Yeah, but still, John Kerry wouldn't take a bite of the burger when he was running for president and happened to stop at a Wendy's for a photo op. <laughs> um, an animal welfare group, uh, oh, and an animal welfare groups have banded together in the past year to call on McDonald's proved, improve its chicken welfare policy. A 30-second TV ad for or paid for by the Humane Society of the United States that calls McDonald's children's meals unhappy meals continue to air in the Chicago market. And from what I heard, the Humane Society isn't all that it's cracked up to be either. Um, in order to make this latest change, McDonald's removed its artificial ingredients uh, from its American cheese, uh, Big Mac sauce, and burger buns. Uh, I switched actually to the Walmart brand uh white cheese because it doesn't have the artificial colors that the yellow cheese has and uh, it's pretty good when you look at the ingredients as long as it's milk first and not uh, any type of oil or soybean oil or anything which it's not on my ban list phasing out artificial ingredients from most of mcdonald's burgers likely will not mean higher prices for consumers though franchise owners ultimately set their own prices kamzinski said oh that's what he said other menu items that will continue to have artificial ingredients include the Egg McMuffin, the Bacon Egg and Cheese Biscuits, Bacon Egg and Cheese McGriddles, oh, that's bad news for my dad, and the filet o fish Sandwich. As for the pickles, it will remain artificially preserved until further notice. I'm not sure what preservative they're using, probably uh, TBHQ, which is a form of butane. Um, there are different types of pickles available, but to keep the taste our customers know and love, we made no changes to our signature dill pickle, spokeswoman Andrea Bates said in an email. The uh, dill pickles that Aldi sells are actually quite delicious. They're, they're really good. So, But, yep, I figured I'd share that and uh, just kind of highlight that it took time after my email, but I'm sure there's probably thousands of other people just like me that sent in, uh, you know, scathing emails to them, then <clears throat> it looks like they finally got the message. So, you take care, uh, YouTube and Real.Video, and you have a great night, and you keep it flat.